Hey guys, it's Miss Latch. I'm here to do your math lesson with you this week. This week we're going to be talking about breaking shapes into different parts, okay? When we break shapes into parts, we want to always make sure that the parts are equal. That means that they are exactly the same, okay? So I want you to look at this piece of paper that I brought. And when we tell you to fold your paper in half, we always go from this side over to this side. Make sure your ends are touching. Okay. So when I open it back up, I have this little line here. And that shows me that my shapes are equally divided into halves. It's the same on this side as it is on this side. Okay. So let's pretend that you and your friends are wanting to share a graham cracker. Normally, when you take your graham cracker out of the package, it looks like this. It's all together, okay? But if I wanted to share this with one of my friends, I have to break it into half, okay? That means I have two equal pieces, okay? Because when we share, we want to make sure that both people that are sharing get the same size piece, okay? So this is halves. Now then, let's say that we have four friends that are wanting to share this graham cracker. We would break it into four equal parts, and we call that fourths, or it can also be called quarters, okay? So I'm going to show you if we break this one. I have two pieces now. And if I break this one, I have two more pieces. So we know two plus two would be four. So I divided this graham cracker into four equal parts, so that it is in fourths or in quarters, okay? Now, I can do the same thing with my piece of paper. I had halves, the two equal parts, and then if I wanted to fold it again, okay, I'm going to go from top to bottom this time. And then when I open it back up, I'm going to have four equal parts, okay? So it's divided into fours or quarters. All right, let's look at our math page today. And if you'll look, it's on page 184 in your math instruction book. And the first one tells us to draw, to show how you found two equal parts. Let's remember back on my piece of paper when I just folded it in half. And I had two equal parts. There was a line right down the middle. So on this one on our paper, let's draw a line right down the middle. And let's try to make it as equal as we can where our pieces look exactly the same. Because if we're going to share, we want to give equal pieces. Okay? Now, we're going to draw to show how you found four equal parts. Remember when I had the piece of paper and I folded it in half and then I folded it again. And when I open it up, I have four equal parts. So that's how our shape should look on page 184. We're going to draw a line straight down. That gives us halves. And we're going to draw a line here in the center and go across. That will give us four equal parts. It is divided into fourths or quarters. Okay? Now then, if you will turn to page 185, this time we're going to be looking at a circle. But it's this, it works the same way. And here I have an oatmeal cookie. It is a circle, okay? And it tells us to draw how you found four equal parts. So if I was sharing this oatmeal cookie with four friends, I would want to take a knife and cut it down the middle. That would give me my halves. And then I would cr cut it across here, which would give me four. They would be very small pieces, but I could share with four. There would be four friends sharing, okay? So me and three other friends. All right, so let's draw that on our circle here. So we're going to go straight down the middle. Let's make it as equal as we can. And then we're going to go across here in the center so that we have four equal pieces, okay? All right, so let's re remember, we want equal pieces. That means they're the same on both sides, okay? We want to make sure everybody has the same size piece. And if we have a shape that's divided into two parts, we call that halves. If it's divided into four parts, then we call that fourths or quarters. 
Good luck on doing your work this week. If you need any help, reach out to your teachers and have a great week.